what's up what's up guys um i got a quick reminder of you guys see for you guys tomorrow i'm gonna record the that puerto rican parade out here in Brent, long island new york brentwood and i'm gonna be there for a little bit then i'm gonna go a birthday party with the real i'm gonna record the real shirt next month next week in the city when i go to the city it's been already a year already man since the parade and you know i'm finally going back but let's see how it is this year anyways enough of all that that's tomorrow today's a new today and I want to talk about pretty much LeBron James, man. How the elites got him in the catch 22, man. You know, LeBron James was right when he said that racism, racism still exists in America. Of course, it's not going to stop. It's going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? These elites hate us, man. They don't like black Latinos. You know what I'm saying? So what they did is um, they, van they van vandalized. They set LeBron up. They vandalized his house. They wrote the N-word on his fence. And, you know, LeBron is a... When the when the sports when the you know the interviewer was a you know he was she was interviewing with LeBron and she's like oh how does that feel when you know when they when you got vandalized and they wrote the word n word when they wrote the when they wrote the word nigga to you in your fence and all that you could just tell LeBron James got pissed off when he said when, when she was she mentioned that he went like this he like hold because he knew the bullshit was going on he knows he's being you know this how these elites are racist but they don't like him on the down low they just gotta kiss you know what I'm saying he just gotta. Since he's winning that industry, you know, he got to kiss ass sometimes. But the elites don't really like him, so he can't really say too much. You know, he said he's pissed off. You know, he was disappointed him because you know, he was like, oh, this racism still exists out here. Still exists. And, you know, we got to just live the way, do things right, and be all we can be. And this and that, he was just talking. And, you know, I knew, and I knew he was just like, yo, I'm tired of these fucking elites, man. He... He's tired of it, LeBron. You can just tell. You can just tell LeBron's tired of the BS, man, the industry, man. But since he's on the contract, he'll lose all his, you know, his contracts, all his fame if he exposes them. You know what I'm saying? So he's just trying to keep on the low and all that. But he knows, man. He knows the bullshit was going on. He knows that racism, racism, racism will always fucking exist in America. You know what I'm saying? Because these elites don't like us. You know what I'm saying? Blacks, Latinos, they don't like none of us. So they want to get rid of us, depopulize us, like they always say. And LeBron knows that. He knows that, but he's not gonna. He's gonna keep us in the secret. I mean, check it out. Like, check, check out the interview with, about LeBron. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at that Puerto Rican prison. All right, peace.